we're going to tell you five of the most poisonous animals in the world. We are the Adventure Brothers, Cobra and Bob. We explore the world and you can come along. Welcome back to the Adventure Brothers show. I'm Cobra. I'm Frog. Today we're telling you the most poisonous creatures in the world. And we're going to tell you the difference between poison and venom. Are you ready for this adventure? Let's go! First, let's start with the difference between poison and venom. Dr. Ronald Jenner, who's a venom expert, tells us this is the rule between poison and venom. If you bite it and you die, it's poison. If it bites you and you die, then it's venom. Poison and venom are both toxic chemicals made by animals that can hurt you or kill you. But the main difference is how they enter the body. Poison can be absorbed through the skin, swallowed, or breathed in without a wound. A wound is an ouchie. Ouch! Poisonous animals use their toxins defensively to avoid predators. Venom, on the other hand, is a special type of poison that is injected through a bite, sting, spine, or a pokey thing, or claw. Venom molecules are larger than poison and require a wound to be absorbed into the bloodstream. Yep, it goes through an alley. Venomous animals use toxins offensively instead of defensively. Now, now that, that you know, know the difference between poison and venom, we're going to tell you five of the most poisonous animals in the world. Let's start with the tiger snake. This is the only snake that is both poisonous and venomous. Yeah, it's one of the deadliest snakes. No way. It's venom caused people to be paralyzed and people could die from it. But it also is poisonous and has toxins as a defense mechanism. Yeah, frog, it has special glands on the back of its neck that can expose toxins to keep away their enemies. The fangs is where they deliver their venom. Here's a really cool fact. The mother snake can pass the poison to their offspring, so their babies have a way to defend themselves when they're little. They develop their poison through their diet of poisonous toads. The tiger snake is a really cool poisonous creature. I would keep my distance if I were you. The next one is the hooded pitoyui. It is a poisonous bird. It might be the only one actually. The toxin is found in the bird's skin, its feathers, and other places. If you touch the bird, it can cause burning, numbness, and itchiness, sneezing, and watery eyes. A few milligrams of the bird's skin, which is not very much, can kill a mouse in a few minutes. This next one surprised me. It's the comb star. It's a type of starfish. This one's both venomous and poisonous. Its toxin can cause paralysis and death from respiratory failure. That means not being able to breathe. Just a gram of comb star flesh contains enough toxin to kill 520 mice. Wow! This, this next, next one, one hits close to home. All salamanders are poisonous. Whoa! That's why in our salamander video, we did not handle them with bare hands. There's a wide range of their poison though. The most poisonous is a rough skinned newt. Newts are a type of salamander. The rough skinned newt is the most poisonous salamander in the world. Oh! You can tell that it's a rough skinned newt because it has a bright colored belly. It will show you it when it's threatened. When you touch it, it causes skin irritation and maybe some rashes. But if you eat it, it could cause paralysis or death. The iris of their eyes is yellow or silver. That's pretty cool. Cool. And this is our favorite poisonous creature of all. Oh! The poison dart frog. The poison dart frog lives in Central and South America. This is why they're called the poison dart frog. People used to use it to make weapons and in fact darts poison 
dart frog. The golden poison dart frog. It has enough toxin to kill 20,000 mice or 20 fully grown people. They are poisonous and not venomous. They build their toxins from their food. So they are very, very dangerous in the wild, but not in captivity, because they eat different things that they cannot build their poisons from. They are so itty bitty bitty. They're under two inches. They are beautiful, multicolored frogs, but remember, they are very, very poisonous. In fact, they use their color to warn their predators that they're poisonous. Another cool fact, they're not nocturnal, which means awake at night. Most frogs are awake at night and are nocturnal, not poison dart frogs. They're awake during the day. They are diurnal which means they're usually awake at day and asleep at night. Like me! There are over 170 species of poison dart frogs. One more fun fact is that they're not very good at swimming even though they're found near water. Did you find that interesting, all these poisonous and venomous creatures? Yeah. Now it's joke time! What do you call a sad poison dart frog? What, Cobra? Unhappy. Wah, 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 wah. Silly jokes! Thanks for joining us on this episode. If you like to learn about animals in our world, subscribe to the Adventure Brothers Show. The Poison Dart Frog. This is why they're called the Poison Dart Frog.